everyone. Today's objective is basically to make a new canvas um, on my bad pores. So didn't really like how this turned out. And the negative on these are if you grow, if I, which I tried before, I went and redone a whole new a whole new uh, pour on it and when it dried there was a whole bunch of uh, wrinkles because the old pour underneath the new pour just did not react correctly with the new painting and that was a disappointment so my new plan is why don't I just replace the whole canvas all together so I ordered this from Amazon and it feels better than these artist loft canvases I bought on sale. Better than these artist loft, they feel better. Let's see if the outcome is good. <laughs> it's smooth for some reason. It's made in Canada. Usually I see made in China, but it's, let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Um, this, I'll put the link of this order um, in the description. So let's get started on how I transform my canvases. And also, yeah, I'm gonna transform it. I'm not gonna just reface it. I want a different size. So let's start. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take this apart. And I won't bore you with the details, so we're going to speed it up from here and you'll see the process. I have staple removers, but it doesn't work for canvases. And this is a knife from my, from my knife set that never gets used, so now I keep it in my uh, art box. So let's just take this apart, basically. Be careful, don't have your hands. Um, let's move this so we don't ruin it. Don't have your hands where you're sticking the points of the knife. Just take precautions. And you just put that underneath the staple basically, self-explanatory, and then you just lift the staples off the wood. And we'll go from there. These are the smaller ones that I wasn't really too proud of. It looks good from a distance, but uh, don't like it. So. I'm going to just lightly sand these. This is just a nail 
Fala. Now we're going to staple these. to make sure that the front of the canvas is upside down when we put it together. All right, first thing you should do is staple the four corner, the four corners. I gave myself a slightly a little bit of edge so there's room to staple. Make sure you cut the right amount size. You don't want to waste these canvases. It's not that expensive, but at the same time, I want to less waste. I don't want to waste too much. So there we go. And when you staple these, make sure it's straight and also it's tight. So the first one is not going to be as tight and when you do the other side you make sure you pull it so we'll start here on the edge nice and tight like that turn it around and then pull really tight don't worry if it goes over the canvas that's not a problem Now, 
And you get to this edge. Let me see how can I show you. See this? cut these little lip pieces out it's gonna make it extremely bulky at the tip and you don't want that all right I think I cut too much right here but it's okay I'll fix it you have to pull really tight This is fine, this is too long. So we're gonna cut a small piece on the edge on that part. So when the reason for that is when you fold it, you don't have that bulky edge. All right, so now I'm gonna pull this. All right, once you do that, you let it go. It makes a crease, which is perfect for what you want to guide you. And then you pull, you pull that. You press down. That didn't catch this side so well, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna staple it again to make sure it's nice and perfect. Oh, I also forgot to mention, don't staple all the way to the end. Leave some room for this fold. If you staple all the way over here, then it'll, hard, it'll be hard for you to fold this end here. So you'll st I'll staple this, the ends, when I'm done with this corner. I forgot to mention that. And this comes with practice. My first one wasn't so great because I did that and I had to take the staples out and start over. There we go. All right, let's do that again because this edge is not really stapled well. Perfect. In fact, I might just do that to all four parts for stability. And then once you come to this end, you pull really well. And then you catch that. It's hard. Staple. And then can't really pull much here, but try your best. And then when you staple it, you push the staple down. Make sure you press hard so the staple is deep inside there. Let's add 
more staples here. Perfect. And then this one. Perfect. Now you can go ahead, staple these ends right here. Now I take this hammer, this is not really, it's a rubber hammer, and just hit down all the staples. Now this baby's not going anywhere. Is it a new canvas, but it's a different size. Old pour that I don't like. Trust me, it looks good when you see it on camera, but don't like it. Maybe if they had a little bit more cells, I would I would keep it, but I don't like it at all. Alright, so this was a perfect little now I have a brand new canvas to work with. All right, let's make one more, another size, and then we can go off and paint whatever we want. So, all right, I'm gonna pause you here while I take all this mess out. And then, all right, so I took them out. So, this is the piece the end pieces and this is one of the piece that was from the other one that I didn't use for this hold on I'm not making sense so let me just explain it better so this is the new canvas that I pulled out and I'm trying to decide what size I want it I actually want a skinny long piece do I? Well, because you can do oh, you can do this. Now these pe these canvases, these ones, these are size. Let me measure this one. These are. I bought these. These are Artist Loft from Michaels. These are about five by seven. Five by seven canvas five by seven inch canvas um, that I bought at Michael's. Um, they don't have these, I don't know if you can see, you see these? This is just cut, these are just cut smooth. There's no grooves in them. When you do take apart a canvas that has grooves in them, you don't have to do any sewing. You can just, take the ends basically put them together like this which is so much easier like this and voila you can do it this way or take it out you want a smaller piece, just take two of the smaller ends. You can take apart four. And then you put that in here. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm gonna make a canvas out of this one. Perfect, look at this size. Now I made, this one is a, this is an eight by eight inch, a little bit smaller than eight, but 
Let's round it off to eight by eight inch. I like this. So let me see this cut piece. I don't think it'll fit. Not well fit. What we can do for this is I can take apart these. And this is perfect size to make these. So can I make two of this? Let me see. If I take apart. Yep, this will work. Perfect, so no waste. So what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna cover, take these apart and use this piece that I cut to make a new canvas for these. And I can do a better pour. All right, let's save that one. And then let's cover this one more time. Ooh, I forgot a step. Don't forget this or else it'll just come apart on you. You don't have to do the back. You can do the front. Um, Voila, got a new canvas. Look at that, so pretty. So, here we are. We made two perfect canvas from a bad pour. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Mm -hmm. right, just don't throw away your um, canvases, your bad canvases. Um, just save them. And another thing I do with them, just to show you, is I make a frame out of them. So here's one I'm working on. I'm working on this. This is a canvas frame. I just put the backboard on it. And this is a uh, cabinet backing uh, board. It's like maybe $4 at Lowe's and Home Depot. Buy a big sheet of that just start cutting them down and that's what I did with it I made it into a frame uh, I have another video that I showed you how I did that here's another one I made a frame out of that look at that so pretty I like and to each his own and the next thing I'm working on I'm gonna make a tutorial on this soon so making clocks and this one I bought this board I bought from Walmart and I just 
bought this from Walmart. I just made up my pour on this. And then I bought the this thing from Walmart too. And I made my own clock out of it. And my next plan is also, this is another, this is another um, clock I'm working on right now. I made everything completely myself. This, this is the, uh, the backing, the wood, the, um, it's not really wood. It's things like paper, but it's very strong. It's, they, they're technically made for the backs of cabinets. Um, and like I said, you can buy it at Lowe's, Home Depot, big sheet for like four, four dollars. Um, I bought these also wood pieces from Lowe's and these sticks are from like 99 cents or Dollar Tree and I just cut them and this I bought from Walmart too. This is just your plain old circular wooden boards that they sell at Walmart. So I did this pour and my plan is my plan with that is, so I took apart another canvas and I made, uh, I resized it and I put it together. I stapled it and it's really nice cut, a well cut um, um, canvas uh, wood. I really like it. It has really nice marks. I don't know if you can see it, it's so pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand it and either I'm gonna just oil finish it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but this is gonna be a frame. This was a bad pour that I did that I didn't like, so I just painted black over it and I wanted to make a clock, obviously. So my plan is I'm gonna paint it white. I painted it black, but I'm gonna paint it white and I wanna buy a uh, furniture white paint so it can stick on this really well and maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to do this and so my plan this is also just a regular wooden board from Walmart and my plan is to take this and make a frame so once this is completely all white it's gonna look so pretty I'm gonna have this in the middle um, basically the way I made this one and I'm gonna have this in the middle and it's gonna stand out, it's gonna pop out. I'm just gonna pop. Um, and my plan, yeah, is to make a, a clock out of this one too. And the reason why I do it like this is so it's easier to hang. You don't have, I don't have to put a hook or anything. And you know, it's just easy. It looks nice. It looks like a shadow. It looks like a shadow board. I, I just love it. So that's the next plan. Maybe I'll make a tutorial on that. Um, since I already have a tutorial on how I did this pour, well, not yet this one. The, the, I have a video on it. I'll put that in the link um, for how I got these beautiful. And it's a color shift. Once I resin it, it's going to be awesome. And I stuck it on on purpose because I plan to resin the whole thing and I want the resin layer to come a little bit high so this is very well hot glued in here and I'm gonna basically touch up the edges with white paint and uh, just to touch up everything and you'll see the end result on my Instagram Facebook you can also join my group I have a Facebook group and um, yeah, isn't this pretty? Once I resin this, this is gonna look amazing. And then it'll be up on my Etsy shop and you can purchase it. One of a kind clock that will be created by me. All right, guys, so here it is. We made brand new canvases today out of old pores and we resized them and uh, that's how you save money. So 
Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, you know what to do. Thank you so much. And uh, till next time. Bye-bye. Beautiful. Bye, guys.